dear friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Polina and here on my channel it is all about fragrances. In today's video I'm going to be talking about my next perfume rotation. If you watch my videos you know that I regularly rotate my perfumes to give chance to new perfumes, to some new purchases or remember some old ones, some favorite ones. In today's video I'm going to be talking about seven fragrances that I'm going to wear during the next couple of weeks in February and in March. So the weather here in Germany is still cold so the perfumes that I have chosen are warming, um, cozy and suitable for winter days for colder days and I'm going to start with Emozione by Italian fashion brand Salvatore Ferragamo. This fragrance was created in 2015 by metal perfumer Alberto Morilles. The notes listed here are iris, peach, bergamot in the top notes, middle notes are heliotrope, peony and rose and in the base suede, musk and patchouli. If I'm honest I can't detect any particular note here. It's not very often with me. Usually I can detect some notes and recognize them but here it is quite an abstract scent for me, for my nose. But nonetheless it's not a a uh, disadvantage for this fragrance is just the fact that it is so well rounded, so well blended. In my opinion, this is a very feminine fragrance, fragrance that goes in a classy direction, very elegant and exquisite. Because of the heliotrope, it has some powderiness in it, but it's not straight into your nose, it's not dry um, powder. Uh, it's just a um, cosmetic powdery direction. Very elegant, suitable for my, in my opinion, for day wear. Ageless, I think young girls and mature women can uh, wear this fragrance. Well, you know, they say there are no rules in perfumery. You can discuss this topic, but for me, I like to create some structure. Uh, and also I like to have structure in perfumery as well. So I put my perfumes in some cate categories. So for me this is day wear, feminine, ageless fragrance. And I wanted to show you as well a body lotion by the same brand Emozione by Salvador Ferragamo. Um, I like combining um, products, uh, body creams with fragrances. So I like um, I like to be a fragrant <laughs> everywhere and I like combine um, a body scents with fragrances. I wanted to say that um, it is, although it is feminine, elegant, it is very long-lasting and projection is also very nice but this is not a very philosophical fragrance. It is quite sophisticated but it's not a difficult fragrance. A fragrance without questions. It's a nice smelling elegant perfume for elegant uh, well-groomed woman I would say. So the next fragrance I'm going to wear during February and March is my favorite Miss Dior by Dior. This fragrance is the release of 2017, one of my favorite releases, although I quite like the new Miss Dior, this is my favorite. This is the fragrance about rose, patchouli and citrus fruits, created by metal perfumer François Dimashi. Also day wear everyday fragrance, very elegant, very feminine, classy. Well, if you are familiar with Dior scents, the quality is out of question, the longevity is perfect, the projection is just a well-rounded, well-balanced 
fragrance is quite this fragrance is quite known well known well this is the famous Miss Dior but I enjoy wearing it I think this is a very feminine elegant fragrance for day wear for everyday use the next fragrance I'm going to talk about is Granada by the French niche house Memo Paris in my opinion this is the most beautiful fragrance dedicated to jasmine but this is not a simply simply jasmine this is jasmine combined with tonka beans with vanilla heliotrope with neroli oh my goodness this fragrance is dedicated to granada to the spanish uh, andalusian city in the south of spain granada i've been there once and i can truly underline that this fragrance reminds me of the city colorful warm um, beautiful noisy interesting rich with different different influences so this scent captures this feeling of being in granada this is the, this is the fragrance of warm Andalusian nights but for me this is not a summer scent because of its thickness of because it's this fragrance is quite dense it has a certain structure in it so for me this kind of perfumes are suitable for winter as I said I prefer making rules for myself this is just personal anticipation very rich and dense thick it goes in a sweet direction well because of vanilla but if you are afraid of indolic jasmine it has nothing to do with it absolutely divine jasmine scent with warm undertones of vanilla patchouli heliotrope and because of the heliotrope it goes also in a little bit um, cosmetic powdery direction but it's not dry powder it's not straight into your nose in my opinion very elegant the most beautiful jasmine scent and of course the longevity and projection uh, astonishing because uh, memo Paris uh, creates very high quality products another fragrance that I'm going to talk about and I'm going to wear during um, February and March is Tenue de Soiree by Annick Coutal French niche house with a nice uh, little fluffy pom-pom um, nice details but uh, while using the fragrance I'm, I'm, I put this off because um, it's not it's not very comfortable for me so what is this fragrance about it was created in 2016 and this is a fragrance dedicated to fruits and patchouli the top notes are black currant bergamot middle notes iris rose jasmine and the base patchouli caramel leather and white musk Tenue de soirée means in French uh, evening dress and the makers of this perfume wanted to recreate the atmosphere, the feeling of a woman putting on the um, evening dress. And truly it is very sensual, it is an evening scent but I'm going to wear it during my office hours so um, I'm not restricted by that. Um, it is also cozy, warming because of patchouli, because of caramel. I wouldn't say that it is super sweet. It's not candy sweet. It is fruity sweet. Fruit. It has some sour undertone going on here, but it's quite pleasant. And because of its thickness and density, it is. It is not typical fruitually fruitually scent it's not girlish it's quite it's very elegant um, and I would say 
it is ageless. I think it's quite suitable for young girls as well, mature women, doesn't matter. Very feminine fragrance as well. I can't imagine this on a man. Um, I'm also quite pleased with longevity and projection of Anique Goutal Tenue de Soiree. If you have the chance to try it, please uh, do so because it's it's a very special one. It, it's not it's not typical fruity patchouli scent. So the next fragrance I would like to talk about is an old school scent. It's called Chantilly by traditional French house that moved to America, Dana. Dana Chantilly. It was created in 1941 and there are different... Um, I, I also found that the same perfume was created by the French traditional house Ubigan. So I'm not, I'm not sure whether there are different fragrances or the same one with different licenses. So Chantilly, nevertheless, Chantilly by Dana or Ubigan, doesn't matter. What is this fragrance about? As I said, created in 41, so this is old school scent. The notes listed here are very rich. Benzoin, citrus fruits, vanilla, leather, sandalwood, spices, ylang ylang, jasmine. It is a very complicated scent. But I wouldn't say that it is a typical retro fragrance. If I didn't know that it was created in 41, if I had, if I had blind test, I would definitely say that this is something special from some special niche house. It is quite sweet. The vanilla note is quite predominant here, so I, I, I kind of notice that my olfactory preferences started to cha change and adjust and I noticed that I started to prefer vanilla fragrances. Chantilly is often compared with Chalimar or Emeraude by Coty. I know these fragrances and I can't really say that they are similar. Well, similarity of lies in the it's in its complexity because it is a it's, it's a it's a complex scent. Yes, it is about vanilla. Yes, it is about citrus fruits and about other different fruits and and florals, but it's much more than that. And I also wanted to say that although it is quite sensual and sweet it's not only it's not completely feminine it has this special spicy touch in it and benzoin touch in it so i think it would be also suitable for a man to wear it for a brave man yes but i think it's going to be very very interesting on um, man's skin and um, I wanted also I wanted to say that it was very affordable fragrance. I bought um, like a set uh, combined with body lotion and um, shower gel, and it cost me around fifteen or seventeen euros. The longevity is astonishing. The projection is also very nice. So for for a very affordable amount of money, you get a very high quality product. As I said, I wouldn't say that it is a retro scent, but it's not very contemporary, although it is a vanilla scent. But this is not candy vanilla, this is not sugar cookie vanilla, this is mature adult vanilla, high quality, nice vanilla, nothing from drugstore cheapies or something like that, although it is quite affordable. I purchased it um, a couple of months ago, maybe half a year ago, in summer. And for the summer it was quite suffocating. Well, it, it is a dense, thick perfume and I don't prefer perfumes like that in summer, but this is a perfect time in winter. So Chantilly originally is 
French cream that is used for tarts and cakes. It is created of wiped cream, um, lemon and um, orange water, orange blossom water. And there are some fragrances on the market with its name and, and there's a legend that this cream, Chantilly cream, was created in 17th century for the French king, but it's only a legend. The first mentioned the 18th century, but still um, Chantilly is a very popular, still very popular cream for cakes and tarts. So vanilla, citrus fruits, rich olfactory uh, notes and it's it's really worth worth trying because it's a very very interesting and quite quite rare um, fragrance Chantilly by Dana and the last two fragrances my recent purchases I did the unboxing video in Russian and I had some days to try them on to to uh, understand them better. The first one is Lalique Le Parfum by Lalique. It was created in 2005 by Maître Parfumeur Dominique Ropion. What are the notes listed here? There is a special note in the top notes, West Indian Bay. And this is what makes this fragrance so special. Um, Pink pepper bergamot in the top notes, in the middle almond, heliotrope jasmine and in the base vanilla, tonka bean, sandalwood, patchouli. So I notice tonka bean, patchouli, vanilla, this is kind of fragrances that give me comfort, that makes me happy during the colder um, days in winter. So I prefer these fragrances in winter. So, but this. This is a special one because of this uh, bay note listed here. It's, I would say I could compare them with Miss Dior. Of course they are different fragrances. This is more about rose. Um, but this one, because of this special bay note, it is absolutely beautiful. But the first, if I sp first sprayed, or when I first sprayed it, and on the skin, sometime after you sprayed it, it becomes, it, it has this special, it has this special spicy note, warming patchouli and, and sensual sandalwood. It is truly a masterpiece and it was also quite affordable. You can find the fragrances from the house Lolik with uh, sometimes with on sale with a very good price, so keep looking. The quality of this perfume is perfect, longevity, projection are astonishing, so it lasts long on your skin. And I would also say, although I first thought it is a very feminine fragrance, well, yes, it is elegant, it is ex exquisite, but I, because of the special bay note, I think it's going to be suitable also for men. On the men's skin, it's going to develop differently. And I think it's going to be quite interesting also on men. So brave men, please try it. And um, it is a very special one. And the last fragrance I would like to talk about, it's also my recent purchase. And I did the unbo unboxing in Russian. This is Lor by the French niche house De Torrent. This fragrance was created in 2001. But I've, never, I've never seen that uh, in a shop before, so this was a blind buy. I was so surprised by this one. This is something special. I've never, I've never tried something like this before. So the, the um, nose behind this fragrance is Jean-Jacques. This is the uh, metal parfumeur that creates um, perfumes for the French traditional house Caron. So, what are the notes he's listed here? In the top notes, Angelica, uh, Cassis, Tangerine, Magnolia, in the middle, Coffee, Rose, Iris, and in the base, Cedarwood, Amber, and Vanilla Orchid. 
It is so special. It truly has coffee note in it, but it's not it's not fresh coffee. It is if you imagine that you had coffee and you left it somewhere, forgot about it, and it became cold, but it's still it has this typical coffee touch, this typical this typical bitter touch of coffee, if you know what I mean. It's it's so special, it's so sensual, it's so capturing. It also has some sour touch, maybe citrusy touch, maybe floral touch. It is truly something special. I think it's a very rare perfume. So look at it. This is an up. It's absolutely astonishing how it looks like. Love the Torrent. And I think the full size bottle is even more beautiful. It's even more capturing. So if you are lover of packaging, this is your fragrance. And not only the packaging is so special here. And uh, after the unboxing video, I put this fragrance uh, on my skin, on my clothes. And although it is not a custom in Germany to compliment someone, on that evening I received two compliments. People noticed me in my fragrance. And, um, I'm go uh, I go to um, jazz, um, I learn jazz singing in, in a group. So I, I walked past um, uh, my group members and I noticed that they opened their eyes and they noticed me walking past them in this fragrance so this is very special and um well i received compliment um someone told me oh polina you smell so nice this is so special what is this so you're going to be you're going to be asked what are you wearing it's going to be a head turner definitely how can i describe it it's not it's not thick it's not dense but it's very noticeable it is long lasting. It has coffee touch in it. It smells truly coffee, but not fresh, cold coffee, I would say. It has some 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 green touch in it. It's it has some sour touch in it. Very special. I've, I've, as I told you, I've never smelled something like that before. It is it is a truly a masterpiece and it's a rare fragrance. If you have the chance. If you if you saw this fragrance somewhere, please try it on because this is so special. This is so beautiful. I'm completely captured. I'm complete. I, f I fell in love with this one. Okay, this is what I wanted to say about my next perfume rotation. If you try these fragrances, if you know them, please let me know. I hope this video was useful for you. Maybe some fragrances are new to you and you want to try them. So, thank you very much for watching my video and see you soon in the next one. Bye bye!